Elsewhere, at the peak of COVID-19 in the country last year, taxes imposed on Kenyans were suspended as a way of aiding the already struggling Kenyans remain on their feet. The tax burden has now been aggravated by new taxes which are introduced that will see the digital space in car costs from services offered online. Nano Clauren with the details. No sooner had COVID-19 struck than its effects reflected in the country's ailing economy, leaving thousands of Kenyans affected. Leslie Akoth, a fashion designer, was not spared when she experienced a 30% pay cut and later was laid off from work. Initially, before COVID, work in the fashion industry was actually trying to pick up. But when COVID actually hit, that wasn't happening anymore. So we were a staff of actually many. So first, it was the big pay cut, which was understandable because there wasn't any income in cash. Mm -hmm. Then later on, I guess people just got laid off mm -hmm. when the company couldn't stand anymore. At this time, Kenyans were relieved of their tax burdens to counter the negative effects of COVID-19 on businesses and employment incomes. However, this did not last as taxes were reintroduced at the beginning of this year, taxes that will be deducted from the already sliced incomes. I was receiving enough cash. I didn't feel the tax that much because actually it wasn't there. But right now, I think I'm going to, for the first few months or year, I'm going to feel the pinch of the tax because this is a starting up, a job that's starting up. It's a project that's still running, yeah? So I'll have to feel it, but I'll just brave it. The Finance Act was approved by President Huru Kenyatta in June last year and was amended to include income earned through a digital marketplace. The Kenya Revenue Authority, KRA, has implemented a 1.5% digital service tax, otherwise known as DST, to those paying for services rendered to them online as a number of Kenyans have ventured into the digital space to market their work by marketing sales online through advertisements and paid partnership with other brands. For DST, for residents, they will file what we call a payment return. Actually, DST is, will be operated uh, like the withholding tax or advance tax. So you go into the iTax system, you go to your profile, you go under payments, then you just fill in a payment return in the month in which you supplied or provided digital services. If you didn't provide any digital service, then you are not going to fill in a return, which is a bonus for residents. According to KRA, the DST will be operated like the withholding tax and that if anyone has not provided any digital service, one will not be taxed. KRA has set aside the 20th of February this year for filing and payment of DST. We expect that the last date of filing and payment of DST will be on 20th of February 2021. And we know that Kenyans are last minuters. So we expect the inaugural date to be 20th of Feb. They will receive the money as well as the returns with respect to DST. Nanoclorin, TV 47.